Hey boy, wake up. Today we're making shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie? Shepherd's pie. Oh boy! Holy son of a gun, that's a big one. Welcome back to another segment of G Eats here at G Outdoors. Today's episode, we're gonna be making shepherd's pie. But not your mother's shepherd's pie. Not even your grandmother's or your great grandmother's. Today, we're making a loaded shepherd's pie. The three main components to a normal shepherd's pie is minced meat, cream corn, and mashed potatoes. Well, we're gonna take that up a notch. Today we're gonna to be using venison wild deer minced meat that we harvested last season. If you guys wanna see the hunting footage, I'll throw it up top for you guys here. You guys can take a look at it afterwards. And then after that, we're gonna add inside the minced meat, we're gonna make a mushroom gravy. And then on top of that, instead of using cream corn, cause it's already gonna be, you know, somewhat creamy with the, with the gravy, we're gonna make just normal corn, just standard corn. We're gonna put on top of that green onion to add some freshness. Then we're gonna to top it off with some garlic butter mashed potatoes. And then my favorite part, we're gonna sprinkle some cheese on top because cheese belongs in everything. So let's get started. All right, so the first step, we're gonna peel some of these beautiful red potatoes. You could use any type of potato, really. Yukon gold, regular rusted potatoes. But today I have the red potatoes here. So I peel them and we're just gonna dice them up here. Quick, quick. Don't worry too much about the cuts. It's just the smaller they are, the quicker they'll cook. So if you want it done faster, you cut them smaller, but just like that, throw them into the pot of water. We're gonna do the rest of these potatoes. We're gonna peel them all up. We're gonna throw them in the pot and we're gonna let it boil probably for about 25 to 30 minutes. We're starting with this procedure first because it takes the longest. All right, next step, we got the deer minced meat. Here we got three pounds of it. We're gonna throw in the frying pan. There's olive oil going. So we're gonna get that in there. Break it down. And over here we have about nine to 10 potatoes. Don't worry about making extra because worst case you have leftover mashed potatoes. So it's always good to have more than less. Good tip for you. And then once this meat starts browning, I'm gonna add some salt, some pepper, some garlic powder, and then some fennel seed once this starts browning. Okay, so now we got the mushroom gravy going. It's just a regular mushroom gravy, nothing too crazy. Right over here, we're gonna pour it into the meat, get it all nice and thick. Hopefully it becomes like a sauce. Thicken that up. Now we're gonna let that cook down and thicken up. All right, this is getting nice and thick. So I'm gonna let it go for two more minutes, put this to the side, let the potatoes keep cooking, and we're gonna get working on our other parts. All right, so I'm getting the corn ready now in this pot over here. Potatoes should be done. One good way to find out if the potatoes are done, just grab one here, put it in the side pot here, the lid, and then just press it down with a fork. It's not working, let's see that, I just poked it going right through, it's soft. So those are gonna be ready to go. We're gonna put them in the strainer and get ready to do the mash. Okay, so for the mashed potatoes, we're gonna start off with just some salt, season it fast, fast. Then we're gonna use just some milk and the secret ingredient, garlic butter. Now when it comes time for the mashed potatoes, some people like them a bit firmer for the shepherd's pie. Some people like them silky smooth. I kind of like in between. So first off, we're just gonna get to mashing it beforehand. Just as much here. When it starts getting mashed just a bit, that's when I'll add the garlic butter here. Two tablespoons. And then this is where you kind of gauge it with the milk. I like to add a bit just at the beginning. You don't want to make it too wet. Oh, I can smell that garlic butter right away. Oh, oh, oh boy. Let's give it a taste, see if it needs any garlic or salt. 
Garlic taste is perfect. Just some salt. I don't know if you guys can see that, how creamy it is. But look at that, beautiful. Now we're gonna put this to the side and start assembling the shepherd's pie. First step in the shepherd's pie, the meat. Load that all in there. There we go, nice and flush. Next up, the corn. I seasoned it just with some salt. And like I said previously, normally it's cream corn, but because we put the mushroom gravy, we don't need the cream corn. It's gonna get too watery, too soupy. And I don't want that. Then we got the green onion. This is optional, obviously, but uh, I love the taste of green onion. It's gonna add some freshness to it. So we're gonna throw that in. And throw down in the comments below how you guys make your shepherd's pie. If you guys use different ingredients, something that's unorthodox that a lot of people don't use, throw it down below. I'm always curious to read new recipes from people. And last but not least, the potatoes. Throw that creamy, delicious potatoes on top. Get that nice and flush, nice and flat. Now we're gonna pop this in the oven at 375 for about maybe 10, 15 minutes. Nothing too crazy, everything is pretty much cooked. Then we're gonna pull it out, sprinkle some cheese, and we'll be good to go. So now it's the hardest part, waiting. But while it's going in the oven, I just thought of something that also that you could add, maybe some sort of like hot chili peppers or something a bit spicier just to give it that extra depth to it. I know I have a bunch of peppers outside, they're slowly growing. But definitely later on in the season, I'm gonna pick some, probably do a batch with that. Maybe make some hot sauces for you guys. Gonna try that out this year. I have a bunch of different peppers. I have scotch bonnets, scorpion, habaneros, ghost chilies. I have them all growing slowly. So definitely gonna try to make some hot sauces. If you guys do your own hot sauces, let me know down below how you guys do it. And now we wait. All right, last step. We're gonna throw some cheese on this bad boy. Sprinkle it all on top. Because cheese belongs on everything. Here at G Outdoors, we take cheese very seriously because cheese is life. Now we're gonna pop it back in the oven on broil and let it all get nice and golden brown and then it's ready to go. Look at this baby, golden crispy. We're gonna let it sit for 10 minutes. So then everything, all the juices don't escape. We're gonna let it get a bit hard inside, become one, and then we're gonna eat it. All right, I couldn't wait any longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it, grab a little piece. Uh, let's go like that. Oh boy. Oh, farts. Come to Papa. Look at that. Look at that beauty. Ho oh, ho. The pillowy cheese on top. All right guys, diving in. It's the moment we've been waiting for. I have, at least. <laughs> Get some of that cheese, potato and meat. Look at that. Some green onion on top for color. That's why the chilies would have helped too with the color. You would have added some red, some pop to it, and some spice. But uh, hey. Every time out, you try something new, try something different. Oh man, it's hot, but delicious. At first, you get the creaminess of the mashed potato, then you get the crispiness of the cheese, and then you get the freshness of the corn and the green onion, and then that mushroom gravy with the minced meat comes in at the end. Ho oh, ho! Oh, farts. This during the winter, you know, you come back from a hunt, a cold hunt, and you get a warm plate of this. Forget about it. It is over. I'm gonna keep eating this. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys give this a try. It is absolutely delicious. You could throw whatever ingredients you want in. Let us know down below also how you guys do your shepherd's pie. But this is a game changer. With that melted cheese on top, you'll thank me later. Anyways guys, we'll see you guys next week. Like and subscribe, good eats. Hey guys, thanks for watching this week's G Eats video. If you guys wanna check out some of our other eating recipe videos, be sure to hit one of these two. If you guys haven't already subscribed, make sure to smash the subscribe down below and we'll see you guys next week.